Hey guys, Christine and Victor here. Revolutionary. <laughs> anyway, so you can leave that in the hey comments below, because I know you will. Love ya. What in the world is going on with our channel? Yep. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> strange for a lot of people. Hello everyone, Ultimate Bricks here, and today I'm going to be talking about Brick Queen and Brick Titan or Christine and Victor, as they want to be called now. So a little bit of a backstory, uh, Brick Queen had been posting Lego videos, and then kind of stuff was going downhill, the channel was going downhill, and they stopped it, and then they had to stop. So they posted a video called, We're Quitting Lego, or Why We Quit Lego, on July 26th, 2017. To summarize that video, what they basically said is that they can't review stuff because they're not getting enough views and they're not making enough money on the reviews so that they have to, so they have to stop making videos because they're not getting any views on their Lego review videos. Anyways, shortly after that, brother from another brick made a video where he uh, summarized a lot of very good points about how um, they're really like ruining their channel and they shouldn't be blaming the other people. What is going on guys? I am Brother from Another Brick and today we are going to be ranting on the YouTuber Brick Queen. Also it seems like they're really in it for the money. If you are only uh, in it for the money then that shows in your videos and then people don't want to watch your videos anymore and that's kind of what happened. And then on November 26th 2017 they released a video called YouTube Sucks. So today we're going to be watching that video and taking a look at the points that they make and uh, really deciding if they are valid or not. YouTube's broke. Sorry. Hate to break it to you. Bad news. YouTube is not the original YouTube they come. I know you've heard that from every YouTuber mm -hmm. and the Lego community. Not our, our true fans, but you and the Lego community. You hate me, so you think that I'm the problem with this whole channel failing. That's not happening. I have not ruined the channel. As a matter of fact, I helped create this channel. Alright, so they start off this video by saying that they're not the true fans, but everyone in the LEGO community uh, hates the Brick Titan, which I'm pretty sure they're just referring to how Brother From Another Brick called him out for really ruining the channel. And the other thing is he says he couldn't possibly have ruined the channel. He helped create it. Well, when he helped create it, he helped create something that people liked, and then he changed it into something that kind of people didn't like, and uh, I guess he just kind of has to understand that, that they've kind of gone downhill, and they might not actually be able to come back from that, but it's kind of because of, you know, stuff that they did. Most of the Legos in this channel, we both have Legos, we both shared them, we both did it. It's just that we put it in one name originally, now it's in both of our names. Sorry, Brady. Revolutionary. <laughs> anyway, so you can leave that in the hey comments below, because I know you will. Love ya. But uh, like um, but the more you, the more you click like or hate or whatever, the more you pay me. So sincerely, with love. And he's not going anywhere. No, I'm not going anywhere. We're married, and you know that blah yada yada. yada. So they start off by saying like you know some of the Lego in there uh, in the channel is his, but I mean some. At some point, you gotta be not selfish and realize that, you know, people don't necessarily want to watch you or that you gotta, like, look at what's best for the channel. Anyways, then he goes and tries to, uh, you know, delegitimize any criticism or anything by saying, oh, he's expecting hate comments, which means that now any hate comments can't really, you know, any, uh, any criticism he'll just immediately say is a hate comment. So he could count this video, which is just me trying to say that you know, I feel like it's not fair for you guys to complain when you're getting more views on your videos than I am. And, you know, I don't make any money and there's so many people on YouTube who aren't making money off of their LEGO videos that it's just not really fair for you guys to come on and just start complaining over and over about how everything's broken instead of just, like, trying, like, like everybody else. Just put in some effort. And I know that they do put in effort, but I mean, if it's not working, then it's not working. You can't just try something, see that it doesn't work, and then complain about it. Like, try something else. Like, keep trying things until you find something that works. So, <laughs> enough of that. We're just really tired of YouTube. We really like to do YouTube videos like this. We enjoy 
YouTube a lot, but it's not the same, and we cannot continue doing LEGO videos or stuff like that because companies have pretty much infested the main corporate part of YouTube, as you can tell, and then the richer people pretty much own the whole market before we can even get the sets, so we're not even going to try with that, sorry. It's just, and you can sit there and say, oh, there's plenty to do, but there's just not. No, we've been trying to upload other LEGO videos, and it's like hardly anybody's watching. Yeah. So here they try to say that they do like doing YouTube videos, which I do believe it, but I mean, if you really enjoyed doing YouTube videos, then you wouldn't complain about it just because your views were going down. Um, I, I kind of know what they're, I know what they're feeling when they say that, like, the, the market is kind of owned by the people. You know, I, I can get frustrated sometimes when, you know, I get a set a few months after it comes out, and yet the review won't get any, um, any views because everyone's already seen the review. So, I kind of get what they are going for there, but I mean, I feel like when they say they've tried other things, I feel like that's just kind of something lazy about it I mean just try more stuff you know if or if your channel's just not working maybe it's just completely hopeless is that like is that your point you're trying to say like it's hopeless we can't make videos I mean just do what you like and people will I mean I just create videos that I like and some people watch them not as many people as are watching your videos but I'm not making a video every two months to complain about how I don't have very many views. And uh, somehow we, we miraculously actually got uh, the most recent LEGO video game um, like a week ahead of time. And that's due to Warner Brothers, not yeah. LEGO. Don't, Warner Brothers don't fool that. yourself on that. That was Warner Brothers, not the LEGO company. Right, but even when we got that, it, it's even that hasn't gotten Yeah, even that views. doesn't get the views. It's just that major multi-billion dollar corporations have taken over YouTube and small peasants like us can't make it. You can complain about it in other videos and say how stupid we are, blah, 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 etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. We're telling you how it is for real. We literally went back to Lego for a while for you guys. You saw how that went. Didn't do that great because, you know, like I said, Jang and the rest of them, Brick Vault, they get the Lego sets months ahead of the match or pay for them. Either way, they get them months ahead of time. And we're not even complaining about that. That's the way the system works. Somebody gets favors, that's life. Okay, so somebody getting favors is life, but didn't you get favors too when you got free sets from Warner Bros a bunch? You know, you got that Ninjago care package. I feel like if you can't get the views from that, then like you have to look at yourself as the problem to, for this, you know? I mean, I feel like blaming other things is just not fair. I understand uh, the feeling of what it feels like uh, Jang is just going to immediately get all the views on the reviews, but that's because he's built up. He's built up quality. He's never gone down. He's remained consistent from the beginning, which is years. You know, he's been doing this for years, so that's kind of why. I understand it's a little unfair, like, you know, Brickfall just kind of comes out of nowhere and is immediately, you know, super popular. But that's because they had a bunch of money to go into from the start. So, I mean, that that seems a little unfair. But then, you know, you couldn't get any views from the, the game video. But that's because you're not gamers. None of the people that are subscribed to your channel want to watch those videos, I guess, is kind of the point. And again, in this clip, he says, like, oh, you can talk about it in other videos. Which, that just delegitimizes my video now. He's basically just kind of, like, complaining about this video before it even comes out so that he doesn't even have to think about it and you know I he's basically um, kind of written everybody off before they've even uploaded their videos yeah I mean like even when we first started like there were people that like would get them early overseas or whatever yeah. and, and, and but that's that's not really the point of this uh, it's the, the algorithm yeah the algorithm is really the problem here and notifications for our subscribers Nobody is getting notified when we do anything. We got so 300 views on our last stupid, video. Stupid, stupid notification system. Yeah. Alright, so now they're complaining about the algorithm, which is a problem and I understand with that. But the notification system, I don't feel, is a problem. It goes for everybody. How come uh, Jang isn't declining views because of the notification system? Brick Vault still has a bunch of views, even though there's a notification bell symbol it's maybe you just have to realize that you know maybe people don't want to get notified of your videos maybe your quality has gone down 
and people don't want to watch your videos anymore. Maybe that's what you have to realize. I mean, I feel like with the whole notification system is people will watch your videos if they want to. If people want to get notified, they will click the bell. And if they don't, they won't click the bell. Especially since Susan Majeski took over, YouTube has been shot. It's there ruined. Okay, now I don't know what the heck they did to that audio or why the heck they did that. That was just kind of weird. They, there's a lot of weird audio and video editing kind of things that they did. Don't think that I, like, you know, deformed their video because they, they did that themselves. Um, anyways, first off, they just, like, mentioned the CEO of YouTube for some reason, you know, and then kind of, like, act like, you know, the notification system, they don't like that, so then they'll just blame um, her for all her decisions. Anyways, then they say why there's it's a stupid reason to have to subscribe and then click a bell but i think it's a good reason because I, i'm subscribed to a lot of cha channels and i actually want to use my own email i don't want to have to uh you know dig through hundreds of you know emails um that are notification emails because i'm getting notified every single time every single person uh, uploads a video and that's what the subscription box is for it's like the subscription box is the all your subscriptions and then the notifications are to see like you know your favorite subscriptions it's almost like you can add uh, tiers to it to kind of like have you know different levels of how much you care about a channel you remember when you used to get uh you could send your own like subscriber out things and youtube's really changed susan would just keep ruined youtube i hate to break that to everybody i don't want to be mean to her i'm just saying she ruined the original youtube or the way most original youtubers understood youtube youtube was not broke when susan would took over no and but it is she now it's to very fix broke fix it anyway it's very broke it is it's we new youtube is broke yeah, and that's what we've nothing come, like when we started. That's what we've come to tell you guys. So, so now they say the new YouTube is awful, and I understand how they're how they're doing this. Is because if I was Brick Queen and Brick Titan, I would say the new YouTube is awful because it created them to fall. But if you look at there's they're not the ones that are they're not like the like the, the average. You know, most YouTubers are just going through this, and you know continuing on sure there's like the ad apocalypse stuff which is affect affecting everyone but this is talking about like the the views not the revenue anyways so i mean i feel like they can't complain that like the new youtube is broken because it seems like it, it's not broken for everybody you know still there are a lot of successful youtubers even in this new youtube age and i'm not talking over her we're talking together by the way if you're gonna leave that in the comments below because i know you like to um, just saying, we're talking together. She doesn't feel like she's being talked over. No. Am I talking over you? No. Exactly. We're she's talking together. Go. On they go. It's, it's kind of a conversation between us. Yeah. So if one of us starts talking and the other one starts talking, it's not talking over We're a married right couple. Now. That's what we do. Yeah. Sorry. Exactly. Um, yeah, but so we just wanted to get on here and talk about YouTube for a while because we hate it. <laughs> we're getting tired of the system. Not you guys. We're just tired of YouTube itself. All right, so then he talks about how people have accused him of talking over uh, Christine, which that's that's kind of fair. I don't think he is, and uh, I understand that's like actually replying to a comment, kind of. But then he talks about how he's tired of the system, and what it really seems like is it seems like they shouldn't be making YouTube videos. It seems like they're really, they're done with it, and it, they got spoiled with like their huge subscriber count of like, they got 170,000, and although that's not like that very high up there as far as like the huge YouTubers, but I mean that's still a pretty large subscriber count, and I feel like they kind of were getting money from it and were able to buy a bunch of Lego, and they they just they didn't change, you know. They kept with the way they are. They didn't kind of like make videos that people wanted to watch. So I guess, you know, if you're tired of the system and you don't like YouTube, then why are you still here? And if you want to make YouTube videos, then change with the times. You can't just stay back in the good old days because that's not where we are anymore. 
him. So. But that doesn't mean that we're leaving. No, we're not we're going changing, anywhere. We're changing. Yeah. But we're not going anywhere. Yeah, we just want to tell you that things are going to be a lot different in this town. <laughs> yeah. Consider us unfiltered. Now. Yeah, we're unchained. <laughs> unchained. Anyway, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get out of here and uh, hope you leave a comment below. And I know what some of you would say. But uh, um, <laughs> be sure to give this video a like, tell all your friends about it, you know, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Alright, so now they say they're going to change, they're going to be unchained or unfiltered or unleashed or whatever, but they say they're going to stay and they're going to change, which that's, that's good for them, but I just hope that they can realize that, you know, YouTube and creating content, it's all about creating what people want to watch, and sometimes that changes. So people want to watch faster paced LEGO reviews, which is kind of why uh, Brick Bulb, you know, they got like music and fancy editing. And they put, they, they do put a lot of time into their videos, which is something that it seems like, you know, people want more of, you know, YouTube is changing. And that's a fact. And you can't just complain about it and expect it to go back to the way it was. You kind of have to, you know, to do something about it. You know, maybe put in more time to the editing or make less videos, but highly edit them or do something, make videos that people want to watch. And since you now have a low following, even though you have a high subscriber count, you still have a low following right now. And you need to work that back up slowly. You know, it's like you're starting from scratch again. And, you know, I feel like it can be frustrating, but you kind of have to understand where you are and also how you put yourself into this situation. Anyways, I hope that uh, Brick Queen and Brick Titan watched this video, and I also hope that they didn't completely hate it, and uh, uh, I hope that they realize that I'm not really trying to hate on them, just trying to really just say, like, there's so many people out there who are just trying their hardest, and it almost seems like you guys just aren't really, you know, you're just expecting it because you feel like you've already worked up to that, you know, high level, but you really just, you know, like, back at the bottom again. And I get how that can be frustrating, but you just gotta work your way up. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really uh, hope that you enjoyed it and got something out of it and uh, understood what I'm talking about. Anyways, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye. <laughs>